Okay, so let's talk about the number of G's felt first before we look at your homework. Um, so on Friday, we were doing this amusement park physics sheet. And on the back side of the sheet, um, it talks about some G determinants. I'll leave this in and do it tomorrow. In one of the classes, I'd already started it. Um, in, in the other one, I'll, I'll, so I'll finish it tomorrow, and in the other one, I'll finish it completely. Um, but feel free to just read it, okay? But the piece that I want to talk about is the number of G's felt. So the number of G's that are acting on us and the number of G's felt differ depending on where we are in the loop. And so the definition for number of G's felt is the normal force on the seat of the rider divided by the mass of the rider and then convert it into G's by dividing by 9.81. So if we look at the bottom of the loop, sorry, so here's the bottom of the loop, and here you are, and you're sitting upright in your seat here, okay? So acting down is going to be gravity, and acting up is going to be the normal force on your butt. And so if we do sum of the forces is equal to mv squared over r, then towards the center of the circle is positive, so this will be fn minus fg is equal to mv squared over r. So we want the normal force, so we take the fg over, so it'll be mv squared over r plus mg. So now if we go back to our definition on this sheet, it says the normal force in the seat of the rider, that's what we've just solved for, divided by the mass. So we now need to divide every term by the mass. Okay, so we have then Fn is equal to, the mass cancels here. Whoops, sorry, Fn over M, it doesn't cancel here. Um, in this term it does though. So v squared over r plus g. And v squared over r is just fc. So we have fn over m is equal to ac plus g. Okay, but now to finish, to get the number of g's felt, the normal force in the seat of the rider divided by the mass, we did that, and then converted into g's by dividing by 9.81. So we need to now divide by g. So divide by g, divide by g. So this becomes the number of g's felt. And this is ac over g plus, and this just becomes 1. So when you're at the bottom of a loop, it's ac over g plus one. Now let's, so this is, oops, sorry, my hand keeps blocking the light. This is bottom. If we do the top of the loop, oops, just paper. If we do the top of the loop, up here, and again, um, so we, when you go around the top, you'll be, oops, you'll be hanging your head down. Wow, he doesn't look well. Um, and so going down is FG, and going down is FN. So when we do our sum of the forces is equal to MV squared over R, we have FN plus FG this time is equal to MV squared over R. So FN will be equal to mv squared over r minus mg. And so then again, to get the number of g's felt, we have to take the normal force in the seat of the rider and divide by m. So if we divide this by m, we must divide this by m, we must divide this by m. So we have fn over m is equal to, again, the m's cancel, v squared over r, and the m's cancel, minus g. So it becomes Fn over M is equal to AC minus G. And now the last step, 
normal force on the seat of the rider divided by m and then convert it into g's by dividing by g. And so we're left with fn, whoops, sorry, this becomes, switch that, this becomes the number of g's felt equal to ac over g minus 1. Okay, so this is at the top. So I only derived it so that you could see um, where it comes from. All right, so you don't need to ever derive it for me. But if you can't remember, if you're on a test and or the exam and you can't remember if it's plus one or minus one, then just draw the picture and, and figure it out. And as soon as you take the FG over, you'll see if it's being added or being subtracted. Okay, so now that you have that, now we can go to, do I have a copy of the sheet home with me? We can go to the front side of that page that I asked you to do. This one. Okay? So for the standard loop, how fast is the roller coaster going at the bottom of the hill? So for number one, you're going to do one half mv initial squared plus mgh initial plus one half kx initial squared is equal to one half mv final squared mgh final one half kx final squared plus e lost and so in our roller coasters there's never any e lost and right now there's no spring At the top of the loop there's a speed and a height at the bottom of the loop a speed no height Okay, if you look, I have an M in everything, so we can cancel the M. So we're left with 1 half VI squared GHI is equal to 1 half VF squared. And we're looking for the VF squared, so multiply both sides by 2. So VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 2GHI. V at the top is 10 meters per second squared plus 2 times 9.81 meters per second squared times the height which is, I can't see, 80 meters I think it is, 80 meters okay, so 100, da da da, do the math and you should get 40.86 when you take the square root meters per second Okay, so that's the speed at the bottom of the hill. Then it says how fast is the roller coaster traveling as it enters the loop. Well, it hasn't changed height, and there's no friction. So as it enters the loop, it's at the same height as when it got to the bottom of the hill. So it has to have the same speed. Okay. Number three, what is the centripetal acceleration applied at this spot? So then you're going to do AC is equal to V squared over R. So, oops, that's per second. Uh, so 40.86 meters per second. And that gets squared. And the R, it tells us, is 20 meters. More light. Okay, and when you do that, you should get 83.8. 83.48 meters per second squared. Okay, now the one I asked you to skip, we can now do how many G's um, does the rider feel at the bottom? So just a couple minutes ago, we said, find the sheet, at the bottom of the loop, it's AC over G plus 1. So number of G's felt is equal to AC over G plus 1. So 83.48 meters per second squared, 9.81 meters per second squared, plus 1. And so we get our number of G's felt to equal 9.51. If you go back.